Louisiana Beer Reviews looks at Terrapins Mosaic Seasonal Sessions Limited Release. Oh, look at that beautiful mosaic on the can. I bought this at Martin Wine Cellar. It was not expensive. Uh, Athens, Georgia. Red Rye India Pale Ale. It says... Best Buy 5-19-27. May 19-20-17, I mean to say. It's got the date, guys. Uh, the other thing, the other, I guess it's a born on date. It's kind of smudged, like, can't tell. But at least it's got the Best Buy date. Jesse sent me this Oktoberfest Alpine Village, Torrance, California 2016 mug. When he sent me the Firestone Walker 805. I have some nice viewers. Let me say that to you. Let me say that to you. It's almost 8 a.m. Joe from Buffalo. New York is going to say, you're pouring too aggressively. Okay, this isn't too aggressive, though. Is it, Joe? I poured it kind of slow, don't you know? All right, let's go. With the flow. On with the show. These are old notes. I gotta throw them away. Okay, alright. Got it together. 6.3% alcohol, 75 international bitterness units. They use two row pale malt. Malted rye. Munich 1, crystal 45, 65, and 85. The hops are mosaic only. That's why it's called mosaic. Very good on Beer Advocate. So they're saying B+. Rape Beer, though, is saying 94 out of 100 and a 99 out of 100 for the style. Okay. Um, hmm. Nice sort of frothy head. I would say ivory colored. The appearance is rust red. Copper type thing. Copper type item. All right, Pelicans, y'all are okay. As long as you don't play teams as good as, say, the Brooklyn Nets. 2016, 2017 Brooklyn Nets. As long as you play teams worse than them, you'll be okay. It smells like a red IPA, right? So if you've had these before, you know it's got that, excuse me, tannin. My nose is clearing up, but it's still sniff, sniffly or something. My sinus condition is never ideal, but in the last week it's been just bad. Okay, but uh, it's like tannins, uh, tea leaves, <sighs> sort of sharp, uh, it's hard to describe, sharp bread crust. There's the rye. It's got that spice. That's that's adding to the character of the product. I see there's a number of video reviews. I've not yet watched any. I tend to like to watch the reviews after I've reviewed it, so I'm not unduly influenced. Some ascending bubbles. It's 
clear that the beer is clear. Yeah, toasty, crusty, and it smells great. Okay, so the price was wonderful relative to what you're getting. It's got the date, guys. It's a very pretty can. The beer looks good. The beer smells good. So we're hitting all perfect scores so far. Let's go with the flavor. I hear the U.S. Post Office, and I think they have something for me. I may have to get up and go get that package. It's hoppy. It's bitter, but it's more bitter than hoppy, right? So it's just, just like a straight-in bitterness, but it's pleasant. It's not too harsh. It's not a hard bitterness. That was not a hard, that was not that hard of a foul. Um, it's similar to the aroma, the red, the, the tannins, the, the leaves, the um, spiciness, the mouthfeel is I would say light to medium. This is not a heavy beer either. The finish is relatively crisp. It's easy going, it's refreshing, and it's enjoyable. Does this beer have flaws? Um, I can't really think of any flaws. I could say, well, it's a little thin in the mouth, it's a little watery. I don't think that's a flaw. That's just a character. It's pleasant to drink. It's gulpable, and I don't see anything wrong with that. Um, Oh, I like that sharp, enjoyable bitterness. Well, I'm going to say a solid A. So, laissez les bon temps relais, an A beer, a most excellent beer. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on. Y'all come on down to New Orleans.